Thanks for choosing ABC 15 News. I'm Steve Irvin. And I'm Katie Rammel. A Valley mom in court this morning accused of killing her own baby just six days old. ABC 15's Navita Forgani live at her home trying to get some answers on this. Navita, what have you learned so far? Well, Katie, I've been out here all afternoon, and so far, family and friends going inside the home. They're keeping quiet, but her husband had a lot to say in court. She has been the greatest mother. For better or for worse, years. Nina Croistonen's husband is standing by her Christ. side. Married for 15 years, they have nine children together. Never once has hurt any of our kids. But police would beg to differ. After a three week long investigation, they arrested her for smothering child number nine, who was just six days old. According to court documents, Nina admitted to suffocating her daughter Maya by pinching her nose and smothering her. She claims she was jealous at the attention the baby was getting from her husband Brad. But this confession comes as a surprise to him. I've seen her deteriorating the last two days, um, her mental state. I don't know if her medication is right, and this is the first I ever heard of yesterday when they were going to close the case on there that she all of a sudden said what she said. Her husband says Nina's been battling with several mental conditions, including bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, and depression. We have um, tried for years and years to manage it. Have learned there were warning signs that this could have happened. According to court documents, CPS had at least one open or one pass case into the mother. Uh, they say that uh, they have recorded her making statements in the past claiming that she wanted to smother her children. She also made statements again about wanting her children to go to heaven when she was, now this is according to court documents, when she was in an accident that appeared intentional. I have put in a request to CPS and I'll let you know what I find out. Katie? Such a sad story. Navita, do we know at this point where the other kids are? Well, there are nine kids. I think I saw one come home. Uh, she was told by the judge that she, if she were to post bond, that she's not to allow, allowed to have uh, contact with any of her children or her husband. So as far as I know, they're still at home. Spoke to her husband through his door. She, he told me to get off his property and he was not going to make any statements. Katie? Yeah, this family clearly going through a lot. Thank you, Navita.